I'd like to welcome the new subscribers we've gotten in the month of March, especially those who are interested in learning more about Mercedes-Benz cars. This winter's never-ending snow then turned into never-ending rain. Well, one of my favorite things to do on a rainy afternoon is to learn more about my favorite cars. And my favorite Mercedes-Benz reference is the Mercedes-Benz Productions Model Book by Robert Nitzke. This softcover edition is nearly 300 pages of history and specifications of the models available in the North American market. Suppose you discover a barn-fine, snappy red convertible, and you want to learn more. Each model has a two-page spread. On the left page will be a photograph, the years produced, the original pricing. The facing page has the technical specifications, including engine output, chassis dimensions, 0 to 60 time, and even the fuel economy to expect. Or suppose you're at a concourse event and you come across a rare model that you're not familiar with. Well, find the model number on the deck lid of the car, and within a few minutes, you'll know exactly what you're looking at in very detailed descriptions. Hmm, here it is. Uh, let's see, it's an S-Class chassis with fuel injection. It has a V8. Uh, pretty pricey when it was new. A lot of data here. Boy, it looks like they didn't make a lot of these. Inside these brackets are the chassis type, 111, submodel E35. Here's one of my favorites, the R129 300SL. Here it is on page 254. You'll learn that the different chassis had different model designations based on what engines they were supplied with. This one had a 24-valve engine for North America. They even have a table with production figures in it. So when you spot a W116 sedan, for instance, the model number on the trunk and the production model book will help you determine which drivetrain it came with and for what year. Everything from the carbureted six-cylinder engines to the powerful fuel-injected V8s of the later 70s. At the back of the book are several reference pages. It includes data of what models were offered what year and the production figures for the United States. There's even a conversion chart from the metric data that's on the specification pages to the more familiar American standards. And the chassis code section helps you translate the car's VIN number into what it originally was equipped with. One drawback is that it only covers production models and only up till 1995. Production models means only street cars, no racing cars, few of the collectibles, and very little coverage of the AMG specials like this C36. Believe me, those winter snows are finally going to go away. And even those spring rains are, are finally going to stop and the weather's going to improve. You'll be outdoors again. But whatever the season, the Mercedes-Benz Production Models book deserves a place of honor on any automotive bookshelf. Whether your favorite 300 SL is a 198 or a 129, there are hours of intriguing information found right here. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.